Question number 17A. State what is meant by Brownian uh, motion. Uh, so this is the random motion of particles. Random motion of particles. Uh, suspended in fruit. In uh, that is uh, in fluid, and in fluid we mean liquid. Uh, this is a uh, liquid. Let's correct that. Uh, liquid or gas or a gas uh, resulting from the. Uh, resulting from the uh, collisions collisions with faster moving atoms this is atoms or molecules in the gas or liquid uh, atoms or the molecules or the molecules in in the gas or fr uh, or liquid in the gas or liquid so that is how you answer that question so that is what uh, brownian motion means part b uh, figure 8 shows uh, the graph of velocity against time for a small steel ball falling in a viscous liquid. So we have the velocity, we have time, uh, we can see the graph here. Uh, it is changing uh, from O to A and uh, then from A to B. So uh, we have uh, Roman number 1. Describe the motion of the steel uh, ball as represented by, by part OA. Uh, so we can see that the velocity increases uh, with the time uh, and why does that uh, happen? This happens because uh, the weight of the ball is more than the, the up thrust and the viscous uh, drag. Uh, viscous uh, drag is, a, uh, is a, uh, the resistance offered by the uh, a viscous liquid. So we can answer this, uh, the ball accelerates accelerates the ball accelerates towards the bottom the bottom as weight is greater is greater uh, than the viscous the viscous the viscous forces the vi that is the viscous uh, uh, effect and the up thrust of the liquid uh, so the weight is a force so that's why we are saying the weight is a, uh, the, the due to the gravitational pull uh, Roman number two. Explain why the velocity between A and B is constant. Uh, the velocity from A to B is constant because uh, now the viscous uh, effect uh, balances and the up thrust balances with the weight and therefore there is no more acceleration. So this is because uh, because uh, we say that uh, viscous drag and uh, up thrust uh, balances uh, with weight uh, 
uh, that's uh, that this is sweet uh, that's no more acceleration acceleration uh, i e resultant force is zero uh, force equals to uh, zero that is uh, all the forces balances and therefore there is no increase uh, of uh, velocity with time uh, that is uh, no what we refer to as acceleration so that is how you answer that question but see uh, a student throws a tennis ball vertically upwards from the ground and it runs back after eight seconds acceleration due to gravity is equals to uh, g is equals to 10 meters per second squared so uh, determine the maximum height reached by the ball uh, so we normally use this form, uh, formula to get the, 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 the distance or displacement uh, u t uh, plus a half uh, that is uh, g t squared because uh, the acceleration due to gravity is represented by g if we use this uh, part here to demonstrate the time the ball take to go to the maximum height is the same time that you take to come back to the ground uh, once it reaches the the maximum height then it will start down uh, as it is coming down uh, it means that uh, v here is, will uh, v is equals to zero uh, and when it is coming down so u will be the initial velocity will be zero and therefore we can get s is equals to uh, since u is zero at the beginning you multiply by since it took eight seconds to come back to the ground uh, to go up and down so it took four seconds to come down then we add plus a half uh, the g is 10 meters per second squared you multiply by time it took uh, uh, four seconds so this means our s is equals to uh, this will be zero and this will be you can divide here by two we get uh, five so that that will give you plus 20 which is equals to 20 meters this means that uh, the, this, the, 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 the the height the maximum height reach is 20 meters so it moved 20 meters upward 20 meters down so this is 20 meters the maximum height uh, the other part is uh, velocity with which the ball hits the ground uh, so we have said that uh, when it is coming down v is equals to zero that is u is equals to zero uh, and we are looking for v so we can use this formula uh, v is equals to u plus uh, a t and uh, which is equals to zero plus our a is 10 and uh, our time of coming down is uh, four seconds uh, so this will give us uh, 40 meters per second so that is the velocity that it will hit the grounds with uh, as it falls down so that is how you work out that uh, this is the application of uh, newton's law of motion